Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today is Monday. We're here back with Superfilm Support. Mondays are Superfilm Support. You can go to superfilmsupport.com and send me a request. I'm getting quite a lot of requests, so please leave a comment below if you think I should do this twice a week and I can happily do that for you guys. Um, actually, there's film in this, so let me put it down. So today's question is uh, not so much of a technical question, but more of a asking for advice in how to proceed with film photography. So this is coming from Max and he's asking me if I have uh, experience making or mixing my own darkroom chemicals. He's bought a book called The Darkroom Cookbook by Steve Ancho and he describes different formulas for darkroom class, uh, chemicals. For instance, D76 made as follows and he gives me the formula. He says how the ingredients are mixed and that you can change them to make, for example, D19 or D5 for lith film and so on. And he says it's cheaper, the chemicals can be stored for longer, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, Max, to answer your question, yes, I have uh, experience of mixing my own uh, chemistry from um, the different components, just not buying the commercial chemistry. And it is, like you said, very true that it's much cheaper um, usually it can be stored for much longer because you can have them separated so there's no, uh, you know, oxidation or anything like that. Of course, you got to conserve, like prepare them properly uh, with no air, like no humidity and so on. And uh, you can mix them as you need. So for example, I used to mix D76 just like you put on your formula and I used to have a magnetic stir, which was super nice. And I would just pour little by little. The only thing that I had when I was doing that is that for example, D76, I would prep it the day before and not always do I have the time to plan to know if the next day I can really develop with a family um, because the little kids and you know, you can't plan so, so many times. So I used to uh, mix and then develop the next day. Good thing is you can do a liter, two liters, five liters, half a liter, whatever you need you can mix yourself and it's really easy and simple. One thing to take note, please take precautions of like uh, for your respiratory um, organs and like you don't wanna breathe any of that chemistry. You don't wanna have, you wanna wear goggles and an apron and not do it in your kitchen, probably in a bathroom at least. Uh, open the door, let the air flow whenever you can. Don't have kids around, some things like that. And yes, the book he was telling me he could take a picture to send me the formula. Uh, the book is this one. This is the second edition of the Steve Ancho um, and Bill Troop uh, Developing Cookbook. I super recommend this book. I got mine through, I think, Fotrio or something. They were doing the pre-sale. It's all full of formulas and I can't share anything because of course there's copyright, but these formulas are really good. This book is worth its weight in gold as developing comes. If you really want to tinker with film into the next level. You wanna save money with the powdered uh, different components. Sometimes in different countries you can't get certain things like uh, developers or stop bass or whatever. So making your own from scratch, you can buy the components and that's awesome. One another thing that take in notice and this comes in the book probably, I haven't seen that part yet, uh, is that you do wanna buy the chemicals that are meant to be used for photography. Uh, they are different levels of pureness. So there's like the super, super pure, which is used for like lab environments where things have to not be contaminated. And then there's like the super not pure, which are usually not good enough for certain things. So the, for photography, there's like a middle point and someone will probably leave a comment below giving way more information about this. So as always do remember it, check the comments. There's always someone that has a lot of uh, things to share. So yeah, developing, uh, making your own chemicals, uh, paper chemicals, even I've seen people make their own color uh, chemicals uh, for C41 and E6 reversal. All this is super cool and it can be done with formulas like the ones that are in this book. I've done it myself, super fun. Why did I stop? Because I did stop. I stopped because I started having that issue of not being able to plan ahead. And I had a bottle of HD 110 and one day I didn't have the time to uh, mix D76 the day before, warm it up and all that. So I grabbed the HC110, I poured the 31 milliliters into a liter of water, you know, fill it up to a liter of water and boom, my chemicals were ready. I could develop that same minute. And that became like my 
go to. Also, the thing that happened when I did that is the negatives that I had developed with D76 till then always had a little extra work in the darkroom and the HC110 gave me negatives that actually gave me less work in the darkroom because of the contrast that I like and the, uh, the you know, how I print my film onto paper, that gave me that step of saving time in the darkroom. So I stayed to uh, HC110 from Kodak, you guys know that. And yeah, I kind of stopped using my own homemade chemicals. I still have like enough to make 50 liters of D76 and it didn't pay a lot. So if someone's really on the budget budget uh, side of things, you can buy like 50, uh, the equivalent for 50 liters of powder chemistry uh, in different components to do your own D76 for a fraction of the cost of if you had to buy commercial. Uh, but some people don't like doing that. And also if you're kind of like not very good at mixing stuff, start with commercial, get comfortable, then move on. So yeah, that's super film support today. Didn't really answer many doubts, just gave my opinion on uh, mixing your chemistry and developing at home and uh, this book, which is amazing. I'll see if I can find a link uh, to leave it below because it's really worth it. And there's a first edition uh, and this is the second edition. It has a couple things that are actually up to date, like the new HC 110 and so on. So highly recommend it, not only for people that like to tinker, but sometimes for people that just want to know a little bit more. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. This was Super Film Support on Mondays. Like I said, please leave a comment. Let me know, should I do this twice a week? Maybe I can do Mondays and Fridays. Then I'll have to say Mondays and Fridays when I start the videos or just not mention the day of the week. But yeah, it would help me know because there's getting, uh, we're getting a lot of questions. And the thing about Super Film Support is I want to answer you guys as soon as possible so you don't have to be waiting for weeks. So maybe doing it twice a week would help you guys get your answers faster. And as always, uh, this show is supported by Patreons. Thank you so much. I've actually just renewed my whole Patreon page. Now we're doing live streams. We're doing like author live streams and project live streams. We have a whole Discord for everybody to chat. There's a buy and sell. There's all these new things apart from the fact that you're helping me do this and maybe you just like my videos. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next week. Well, actually, See you tomorrow in the news. Bye.